हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी स्टडी ग्राफिकल एनालिसिस ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड मोशन कर्व सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो इन अवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी सी द ग्राफिकल एनालिसिस ओके इन ग्राफिकल एनालिसिस वी स्टडी डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ मोशन कर्व लाइक पोजिशन टाइम कर्व वेलोसिटी टाइम कर्व एक्सरेशन टाइम कर्व एंड वेलोसिटी वेलोसिटी पोजिशन कर्व so in this video we study standard motion curve so what are the standard motion curve we study rectilinear motion and different kind of rectilinear motion if we if you don't know what is the rectilinear motion and different kind of rectilinear motion the link in the description just check out okay so in this video we study standard motion curve for the different kind of rectilinear motion we know three rectilinear standard three rectilinear motion first is the uniform velocity motion second is the uniform acceleration motion and third is a variable acceleration motion so, so we study the motion curve for this three different kind of motion okay before that we study some points okay so in motion curve slope is the main factor okay if we know the position time curve position time curve on if we find out the slope on that curve we get velocity if we know the velocity time curve if we find out the slope on that curve we get acceleration so slope is a main factor okay so regarding slope we consider some point okay if curve having increasing increasing slope or gradient okay if if curve having increasing slope or gradient then the nature of the curve will be like this okay so we also know the value formula of slope is tan theta a theta is the angle made by the slope with the positive x axis if we consider this point and find out the slope at that point just draw tangent line here theta is theta 1 okay if we consider this point and if we find out the if we draw tangent here theta 2 okay if we consider this point if we find out the tangent theta will be increase so here on this nature of curve theta will be goes on increase so tan theta value also goes on increasing means slope is a increasing so if we know the curve having increasing slope then the nature of the curve will be this okay second second is the decreasing slope if the curve having decreasing slope then the nature of curve will be like this okay if we find out the slope at this point we draw tangent at this point just theta 1 if we find the tangent on this if we draw tangent on this point it is a theta 2 and if we find out the tangent at this point it will becomes like this so theta 3 so here theta goes on decreasing if a theta value goes on decreasing the slope also goes on decreasing if we know the value of slope this goes on decreasing then the nature of curve will be this okay if the value of slope is goes on increasing then the nature of curve curve will be this if the value of slope is goes on decreasing then the nature of curve will be this let's see the third if if curve having positive constant slope if curve having positive constant slope then what will be the nature of the curve the nature of curve will be like this 
okay if you find out the value of uh, value of slope at that this point the slope is constant on on every point on this curve and it is a positive okay because let's see here point p1 or here point p2 the p1 has coordinate x1 y1 and p2 has coordinate x2 y2 okay so we know the well slope formula using two point form the slope is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 so from graph we can say y2 is greater than y1 so y2 minus y1 is always positive for this curve and x2 is greater than x1 so x2 is x2 minus x1 also positive so we get every time positive value of positive value and slope will be constant okay our third motion curve is sorry fourth is negative constant slope okay negative constant slope if the curve having negative constant slope then the nature of curve will be like this okay so here if we consider it is a p1 it is a p2 so here p1 is x1 y1 p2 is x2 y2 okay so here it is a y1 x1 x2 y2 okay the value of slope will be here slope is equal to y2 minus y1 using two point form x2 minus x1 so here y2 y2 is smaller than y1 so on every point y2 will be smaller than y1 and x2 is greater than x1 so we get here negative value on numerator and here we get positive value the slope will every time it is a negative so if the curve having negative constant slope then the nature of curve will be inclined straight line in downward direction or our fourth case is fifth case is zero slope we know a line parallel to x axis having zero slope value so any curve curve and i say any line which is parallel to x axis is always having zero slope okay so we get the basic knowledge about the slope but our topic is standard motion curve so we see the standard motion curve for the velocity uh, uniform velocity motion uniform acceleration motion and variable acceleration motion so let's check out okay so our first first motion curve is uniform velocity motion so in uniform velocity motion the velocity of particle is constant means here the velocity is constant so graph will be straight line which is parallel to x axis okay so in uniform velocity motion the <coughs> value is constant if we find out the acceleration okay acceleration is dv by dt okay acceleration is dv by dt means slope of this vt curve and we study here for the line parallel to x axis always having zero slope means if velocity is uniform then acceleration will be zero or which is which it say if particle having uniform velocity then its acceleration will be zero okay so here one on one more thing if we have to find the velocity using xt curve so here from xt curve we have to find velocity the velocity formula is v is equal to dx upon dt so here the slope is constant positive 
slope so if the curve having constant positive slope then the nature of curve will be inclined straight line okay so so the motion curve will be for x is inclined straight line okay so, so our third so, sorry our second motion is uniform acceleration motion in uniform acceleration motion the acceleration of the particle is constant okay so if we draw the acceleration curve the acceleration of particle is some kind like this okay so here positive positive slope positive constant slope for the acceleration if we know the velocity curve okay or velocity sorry acceleration is equal to dv by dt okay we have to find the velocity and here the slope is positive gradient okay the nature of the curve will be straight inclined okay then the velocity curve will be some kind like this okay so we have now we have to find the displacement curve so velocity is equal to dx upon dt okay velocity is equal to dx upon dt if we find out the slope we we find out the slope on dx curve we get the velocity and here slope is increasing here slope is a increasing slope if the slope having increasing slope then the nature of curve will be this it is a second degree equation okay so we get displacement diagram somewhat like this and the nature of this curve is parabola okay and nature of this curve is straight line nature of curve will be parabola because if we if we find the slope on x t curve it is a increasing uh, incre increasing function or increasing slope the slope nature will be this if you find out the slope on the straight line the slope is positive constant value okay so our third motion is variable acceleration motion so here the acceleration is keep on changing so we draw graph somewhat like this okay straight line in nature then the velocity graph will be increasing slope the velocity graph will be this it is a parabolic in nature second degree equation okay second degree curve second degree equation okay if we draw displacement curve the displacement curve will be somewhat like this in cubic nature which will be third degree okay so if the acceleration is zero the velocity is straight line and displacement will be inclined straight line if the acceleration is constant then velocity will be inclined straight line and the displacement curve will be parabolic in nature if acceleration is inclined straight line then the velocity will be in parabolic in nature and displacement will be in cubic in nature this point we consider while solving the problem so this is the end thank you if you find my videos are helpful then please like share and subscribe our channel thank you